Okay, here in this video, I'm going to describe a very important region that is a part of every nephron that, that is known as the juxta glomerular complex. In front of you, there is an illustration representing that complex along with the other uh, elements of the renal corpuscle. So here are uh, mesangial cells are also present, the green population. These are the extra glomerular mesangial cells. They will be filling up the gap between the, uh, that, that gap which is present between the distal convoluted tubule, uh, the afferent arteriole and efferent arteriole. So in this way, they will be giving support uh, the extra glomerular mesangial cells are giving support to uh, the, the JG complex. While the intraglomerular mesangial cells, they are they act like pericytes. So they are actually, uh, they act like smooth muscle cells. They will be uh, responsible for the con constriction of the glomerular capillaries, okay? Now we come back to our uh, JG complex or the juxta glomerular complex, each nephron has this region. And this, is, this region is present where uh, the coiled part of the distal convoluted tubule, which is also known as the pars convoluta, that is lying close to the afferent and efferent arterioles. Now, both the arteriolar wall cells and the cells lining the lumen of the distal convoluted tubule, uh, will, they, they show some modification in this region. And uh, wherever they are coming in contact, it's mostly the afferent arteriolar cells that will be showing this modification. So the, first we will take uh, the cells which are lining the afferent arteriole, the smooth muscle cells present in the tunica media of the afferent arteriole will show enlargement in this region of the JG complex or JG apparatus. Uh, they are enlarged and they, they show a population of secretory granules, uh, which are, they contain renin, a substance renin. Okay, these cells, uh, they act like uh, the, uh, mechanoreceptors. So they, what they will do, they will respond to any change of blood pressure within the arteriole. The, the blood that is entering the arteriole, the afferent arteriole, if it, like they, these, uh, these mechanoreceptors or the juxta glomerular cells, the JG cells, will be sensing the pressure of that blood which is entering the arteriolar or the capillary bed, and they will respond, okay? Another cell type uh, is a part of the distal convoluted tubule. That region of the distal convoluted tubule, which is lying close by, it's juxtaposing the afferent arteriole, is known as the macula densa. Macule means a, a spot, a, a small region, and densa means darker. So the entire distal convoluted tubule, as we know, has been lined by the simple cuboidal epithelium. But there is a region which is lying close to the afferent arteriole. It shows a condensation of these cells. So cells in this region, they appear more columnar. They are like tall columnar cells. And the nuclei are closely packed. So under the microscope, it, this region appears like a darker region, a darker zone of the distal convoluted tubule. So the macula densa cells are the second component of the juxta glomerular complex. These cells act like chemoreceptors or osmoreceptors because they will be responding to any change of osmolality in the, uh, you know, in the, any change in the concentration of the solute which is reaching like the filter, so concentration of solute within the filtrate or urine. Remember that uh, the distal convoluted tubule is receiving the filtrate, which is yeah, now you can call it urine, from the ascending limb of loop of Henle. The, that urine has, is, has entered the lumen of the convoluted part of distal convoluted tubule. If 
the concentration of solute is up and down, that can be sensed by these macula denso cells. So we call them the chemoreceptors or osmoreceptors, while the juxta glomerular cells or JG cells of the afferent arteriole, they are also known as the mechanoreceptors because they will be responding to the pressure of blood. They will, the cells of macula densa will be responding to the chemical change in the composition of urine. 